Financial literacy, what is it? It means that you know basic money principles and understand how to manage money effectively. Being financially literate means you know how much money you have and how much you will require now and in the future. But in a recent national survey, the average high school student scored 47%, an F, in understanding basics like how to balance a checking account, how to manage a savings account, and how credit cards work. It is ignorance caused by several factors, including the fact that only 13 states require high school graduates to take a personal finance course. Who has account number 132? Mine? Junior Achievement is really excited to be helping kids be successful in the future. Kids who come through JF Finance Park have already had four weeks of classroom instruction, so they get the basics. In 2006, Capital One and Junior Achievement expanded the reach of the JA Finance Park program. Historically site-based, this partnership has enabled Capital One JA Finance Park to become mobile, helping thousands more students build a foundation for making intelligent, lifelong personal financial decisions. At the end of their month-long classwork, students visit Capital One JA Finance Park and take on a real-world situation. They come to JA Finance Park and first are overwhelmed with what they see here and all of the goodies. But what they don't understand is that $35,000 a year is not a lot of money. For me, it's hard because I want expensive things. <laughs> so that's the dollar amount. Assigned jobs, incomes, families, and expenses, the middle and high school students develop appropriate budgets and learn how to appreciate the choices their parents make. I know how hard it is now for them to get bills paid. After we're done with our budget, we'll see how you did. You got to determine between your wants and your needs what you need and what you want. Junior Achievement's presenting sponsor for the JA Finance Park Experience is Capital One. Capital One has donated a mobile set to each of the eight JA markets and works with each to provide volunteers to work with the students the day they visit JA Finance Park. So the more money you make, the more taxes you have to pay. It's about giving these kids the tools so they can think ahead in the future and say, when I'm this age, I'll be prepared. When I have my kids, I'll be prepared. I'll have the education, I'll have the tools that I need, and I can be successful. Capital One's gift of the JA Finance Park set will enable JA areas throughout the country to significantly increase the impact this program will have, especially on those students in our most economically disadvantaged neighborhoods. Obviously we're very serious about financial literacy and our commitment uh, has been consistent because making good financial decisions change the quality of life for these students and their families. Lashara Robinson is a junior at Irving Nimitz High School who's banking on JA Finance Park to improve her life. This will help her to realize, okay, now I know what type of career I need to focus on. Now I know what type of money I need to make in order to survive. Ashara plans to use the knowledge she's gained in high school and at JA Finance Park to become a doctor. To one day take care of her deaf parents. Lashara is my special daughter and she is my best friend. I can save money and invest, so like whatever I have that money, if I can give it to my mom. Lashara Robinson is just one of thousands of young adults impacted by JA Finance Park, paying it forward and paying it back at the same time. Regardless of where a child comes from, they need to understand what it means to be financially literate or they won't be successful. It is the generosity of corporate sponsors like Capital One Bank and donors and volunteers like you that make a young girl's dream become a reality. A goal that begins with Junior Achievement's promise, empowering young people to own their future economic success. We're here to learn and to invest and to get a better life. <laughs>